All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod at this time in the form of re-entry particle effect, which is being made by forum user Pizza Overhead. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a new particle effect for re-entry, which adds in a plasma trail as well as beautiful sparks to, well, your ship's re-entry into atmosphere. And it is gorgeous. Though, I have to admit, I kind of phrased it badly when saying that it adds this into the game, because it's actually already in the Kerbal Space Program files. It is a stock particle effect, and people on the forums actually believe that it was the particle effect that they teased back in 2013, but sadly never implemented it. And it's just sat there in the game files, well, until Pizza Overhead decided, what the heck, let's activate this thing. And I am so happy that he did, because again, it is a gorgeous particle effect that adds a lot more visual impact into your re-entries. So let's jump right to the tracking station where I've set up a couple of test ships for us to use, uh, which will, of course, just deorbit and gaze upon the gloriousness that is these uh, delicious particle effects. Did I just call a particle effect delicious? I think I did. Oh, that's that's a weird one. But okay, let's deorbit this baby. And I could probably use hyper edit to deorbit them, but it never seems to go quite right. But a uh, surefire way is of course just to deorbit with some solid fuel boosters and then fast forward until of course we hit atmosphere and then continue to fast forward until we hit that point roughly there where the heat effects do begin to take hold of our ship and you will see how wonderful they are. Now, if things go well for me in editing, I'll actually put a stock and then this new stock particle effect side by side on here, but let's actually turn off our UI and you can see we have the standard heat effect here where it's just, you know, sort of covering over the entire ship. Let's actually decouple the engines there, but now you can see we have sparks as well as a plasma trail. As the ship does speed up and continue to move forward, we start getting these effects. And you can see that the plasma trail does go on for quite a while. And it is just an absolutely gorgeous effect to behold and really does, again, add a whole lot of visual pop. Now, I should have on the right-hand side this lovely new effect, and I'll put on the left-hand side the stock particle effect that we have, which is really just this heat bit right here. We're missing these sparks and the lovely trail, which as you can see is kind of arcing, though it's arcing into the sun, so that's not exactly the best view there. And there we are. We've slowed down enough that we no longer have those particle effects. And now I no longer care about this test ship. Let's go back to the space center. Yes, I will leave anyways. And we'll go to ship number two, which is going to be basically the exact same thing. We're going to de orbit a ship, but I wanted to show you, well, frankly, my favorite thing about this mod. Now, I, I've i lost a fair few ships to orbit, <laughs> and it's always kind of interesting when they do break apart in space, and it's always been cool to see as they do break apart the cool particle effects that you get. It's even better now with this because, of course, we have sparks and plasma trails for every part that gets ripped off of your vessel. And it just looks so much more impressive than it does normally. So let's go back to fast forwarding, then to uh, 4X now that we're in atmosphere, and wait for it to get to roughly near that point, and then we'll break apart all of these different pieces of the ship, and they will each have their own lovely individual particle effects. Once we get a bit closer, probably once we start to see the heat effect, I'll release them, or maybe a little bit beforehand. Perhaps it should be, yeah, right there. There we are, lovely, back to 1x. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, of course, all of them taking on their heat effects and the different parts of the ship, which are... Oh, come on, there they go. It's a little bit harder to see. I probably did release them a little bit too early, but there we go. We have the, part or the plasma trail, the sparks, and you are seeing it for all of those different items. So if you zoom out quite a ways to see all their plasma trails, it's pretty impressive, I have to admit, and I just, I love it. Though I will admit, I think maybe the plasma trail is a bit too long, but overall, it's just such a cool effect seeing all of those trails behind you of all the things that got ripped off of your vessel. It's just cool. Who wouldn't want that? 
And yeah, that's really, I think, one of my main complaints. Oh, we had an explosion. <laughs> oh, as always. But I think, yeah, that's one of my main complaints is the length of this plasma trail. I think perhaps it is a bit much, but overall, I'm still quite happy with it as it does look just beautiful. But let's wait until we lose this particle effect, which is actually going for quite a long time on this one. I would have thought we'd already would have slowed down enough. We exploded again. Okay, well, that ended that trip. Oh, those poor fools. Well, back to the space center. <laughs> oh, I hope I get this all in one take and don't have to do that again or else I'll have to reset that ship. And let's go to the last of test ship that I have. Of course, test ship number three. And this one is to show my biggest complaint. Now, of course, I did mention that I'm not a huge fan of the length of the plasma trail, but overall, I think it's, you know, serviceable. It does look pretty cool, especially when zoomed out. But my problem is, and I don't know if this can be fixed, the re-entry effect isn't technically a re-entry effect, it's an overall heat effect. So even if you're, say, on a rocket like this, let's launch, this thing will get up so fast that it begins to get the heat effect. And similarly, if you have a supersonic jet plane, it will start to get the heat effect, which means you also end up with this particle effect as well, which, though kind of cool to see sparks coming off of your rocket, is also kind of weird because, as we'll see in a minute, we also have the plasma trail, which is a bit odd when you're launching a rocket to have a giant orange plasma trail coming off the back. Now we should begin to get it. There we go. We're starting to get the heat effects. Zoom in a bit. There we are. We have the sparks and the plasma trail, which you can see is just going all the way back. <laughs> and it's just kind of an oddity to see that huge trail when you're going up or of course going sideways. I completely understand it, and it looks awesome when you're going down towards a planet, but when you're launching a rocket, it's it's a little weird. But nonetheless, let us turn back on the UI and fast forward until this thing falls from the heavens to then, you know, show off the particle effect one more time before we end the video. And yeah, so that is my major problem that I have with this mod at the moment, but it's honestly a minor issue as, frankly, that's a pretty big rarity that you do get that sort of uh, heat effect on launch because most likely if you get that, things are gonna get damaged. In fact, I had to put a heat shield on this capsule on the top or else it would explode. So <laughs> you really shouldn't be having that in a launch, but it is a possibility and it's just a little bit weird to me. I don't know if that's something that can be fixed, but again, it's kind of a null issue as it's something that won't happen very often. But overall, it's a beautiful mod. I really, really do enjoy this thing as it just adds in a beautiful visual effect that just makes re-entry a heck of a lot more interesting. So let's actually go back to 1x time and we'll turn off the UI here and uh, try and sort of face that thing down so it doesn't burn up. That'd probably be a good plan. <laughs> We've already lost one crew today. Let's try not to lose another. Granted, this has no parachute, so this crew's lost anyways. But yes, there we go. There is the heat effect. And so we can see it one last time before ending the video. And it's just, it's fun. I've really enjoyed this particle effect and I don't know why they decided to leave it out of the game, why they took it out of being stock. But thankfully, of course, thanks to the modding community, oh, that was very short, we do have it in here again, and so that we can enjoy it and just have fun. And if you would like to check it out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always, and I would definitely say to go have a look, because it is just gorgeous. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one, and say your prayers for this poor Kerbal who is about to meet the depths of the ocean. And they've died. <laughs> Alright, later folks! <laughs>